Hey, good morning. Day, let me make sure my mic's on. All right. Day 10. I am back from traveling. And I'm tired. I, uh, I was gone for 24 hours. And I might have slept three altogether. I got some decent sleep last night. Last night I probably slept about seven hours. I just got back so late. Um... But today's Sunday. If you're watching this, it's Monday. Uh, I, I'm just going to mix it up a little bit. So uh, on Sundays, I like to do uh, abs and and cardio. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll play some basketball and whatnot. But uh, so today, i um, going to make it a little bit more fun, a little bit different. I'm going to uh, – I'm not going to record the, the cardio. I just, I just do uh, um, inclined – treadmill you know i've done i've done the the stair um climbers in in the bike i just like you know incline just walk on the treadmill nothing crazy just get my heart rate up and then uh i'll do some abs just mostly planks and some i'll spam some uh, cable crunches and then where i miss forearms on on the arm day i want to do some forearms today and then uh we'll uh, shoot some hoops but i'm not i'm not going to record the the, the cardio and the, the abs and the forearms. Um, so you're just gonna get a little quick quick car talk and then um, I'll see you in the basketball gym. Uh, it's been a little bit, I, I don't know if you guys remember me in the first video talking about how I hurt my knee. So I try to uh, play a pickup game at, at one of the rec centers about, I don't know, four or five months ago. When I first started like getting into like lifting and I was just, you know, just worried about cutting and losing weight. So I was like, I'm going to play basketball because I used to play a lot. I mean, I was a lot skinnier and a lot faster. But um, I thought I could I thought I could just hop right back into it. I knew my cardio would be behind for sure. But uh, at the at the place I was going, it said adult. <laughs> it said adult men basketball, like pickup. Like, it's like adult men's league. But it was just like open gym. And it was like 18 up. And I was like, word. So I go there. And they're all in high school. And I'm 33. And I haven't played basketball in years. <laughs> so I lasted one game. And I thought my lungs were going to explode. Because, um, I, I mean, I was going ham. I can't just jog and walk around. Like, you know, these, these are fast kids. And, you know, I'm probably a little naive. But I know I can hoop. A little fat, but I knew I was a baller, so I was running around. I made a one game. And I was just like, I can't go anymore. I can't go anymore. Um, but when I woke up, that I didn't feel any pain when I was playing in my knee. It was definitely all in my lungs. You know, I had just been working out for like a month, and there was like just little cardio at the time. But anyway, when I woke up the next day, my knee was swollen, and it was popping and clicking. You know, I was worried to death. I like you know, did something to like my MCL because at the time it was on my inner knee, but, uh, it would just come and go. And for like three months, it would just like click and pop and it would just randomly get swollen. Um, so uh, the leg workouts were like non-existent for like three months. And, and, and every time I tried, it would hurt, but like, um, I don't know, it just went away. It just it just went away on its own. So I don't know if it was like bursitis or I mean I don't know if it was fluid because one day for for okay, for the first few weeks it was all in the inner part of my knee. But then after that, when it would hurt or flare up, it would be like on the outside of my knee or under my kneecap. It was never in the same spot. So that's why I think it was fluid. I don't know where I was going with this rant, but uh yeah, we're going to play today. Uh, Cody is going to meet me here. I selfishly called him last minute, and I was like, hey, bro, you want to play some hoops after we, uh, after I do this cardio? And he's like, yeah, I'd love to. So he's a little bit ways out, but he, he's coming to meet us. Um, so I don't know what we'll do. We'll probably just shoot around. Maybe just have a little fun, play play, uh, play some pig or something or around the world. Um, I definitely, when I start cutting... I, I mean, I do cardio every week. Do I do it every day? No. Do I want to do it every day? Yes. But um, um, 
I don't know. You can call me lazy or what, but it's a hard. I could do better. Let's just let's just own up to it. I could do better. I will never ever ever be a morning lifter though. You know, like as much as I want to get up at like six a.m. and go to the gym, I just I can't I can't do it. So I usually go like during my lunch break and go work out. But uh, you know I I hate making resolutions. I'm more of like a goals type person. Cringe. But anyway, maybe like just for fun, just for New Year's fun, and, and you know I'm recording these videos. Maybe I'll you know make a resolution of getting up at 6 a.m. and doing my cardio, get my food in, waiting a few hours and going to the gym. Um, yeah, maybe we'll do that. But anyway, we're going to shoot some hoops for a while. And then, um, I mean, I won't record the whole thing. I'll make it as raw and as uncut as I want to. But y'all don't want to watch me play basketball for, you know, an hour. And then um, maybe we'll go get a uh, post-workout meal. I'll stop and get a cheeseburger and we'll just, uh, we'll just, we'll just chit chat. Um, but so I'm going to, on my forearms, I, I kind of flip flop. So I like doing reverse curls for this break your radialis. Um, but you can absolutely get a dumbbell and lay across something and spam them like this. I mean, whatever you prefer. And then I like doing dumbbell curls or even getting like the straight bar on the pull down machine and just flexing my forearms like this, you know, doing some spams like that. We'll do a lot, a lot of forearms um, and abs. I don't like going crazy because I kind of talked about the V taper. I want like a narrow waist. You know, um, I think you know, it's thick, huge abs look sick. You know, if that's if that's your thing, but that's not my thing. I want you know, I want a tight, thin waist, and I don't want to like have huge obliques and abs. You know, but uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll go play some hoops, and then we'll uh, we'll um get something to eat but yeah i just rolled up i'll see you guys inside peace out or i don't know i said peace out i'll see you inside all right abs forearm and cardio is done gotta rip the broncos today even though they're pretty bad but uh still gotta show them some love made the first one <laughs> it's a little crowded here um this ball is flat Um, but yeah, so we did the forearm, you know, the straight bar with the cable, just spam like six sets of those. Nice shot, Cody. Got my man Cody here. Uh, and then, uh, did some crunches, some light crunches, and then, uh, did some planks, and then, yeah, 30 minutes on the treadmill. But yeah, I figured we could, uh, mess around, play some pig, some around the world. Cody said he's good, let's see. I just banked it in. <laughs> yeah, this ball is flat. It is flat. Huh? Oh. Ah, come on. <laughs> yeah, my Broncos are pretty bad. I can't believe they bench Russell Wilson. So I'm thinking they got something in plan. Hopefully not another vet. Hopefully they, uh, I said this last video, hopefully they strike lightning in the bottle and uh, hit on a rookie. Um, but yeah, historically they've never been able to draft. This ball is so flat. Cody's doing a video check. I'm curious to see how the audio is this far away. <laughs> Matter of fact, so years ago, he used to, be able to run a lot. He used to, uh, even after high school, I was playing twice a week at about 190. But yeah, just got lazy over the years. I think it'd be fun to join like a like a men's league and record it, and then edit it for you guys when I start doing the cut. There's a lot of basketball here. First three ball. Woo! Look at that. That was in there, hopefully. <laughs> Another one. Told you, you boy could play. Ah. Let me fix that net. Oh, yeah. Uh, 
I think he apologized for the camera. Oh. Someone's trying to lay me out with the ball. You're welcome, man. Um, yeah, hey, 100 subs, that's what's up. Thank you guys so much. Um, we're gonna keep it raw and uncut. I got some plans. I don't wanna do all car talk, not because anything particular or some of the, you know, the feedback I've gotten. I definitely wanna make it my own and make it unique. Maybe I'll move that camera. I'll move this camera. Here. My bad, I'll get this out of your way, my bad. Get it over here. That angle's pretty sweet too. But uh, yeah, we're gonna keep it raw and uncut. You know, this is just all about my journey and just uh, learning as I go. We're gonna stay natty and just see how see how shredded we can get. You know. You're welcome. Man, I'm feeling it, Cody. Getting it back. It's been a bit. You wanna play like, you ever played around the world? Cause you don't do that? All right. I don't feel like playing one-on-one. -on -one. Do you? <laughs> nah, whatever. So I usually, we'll take turns just here, here. Yeah, and then we'll do three, and you get two shots. Or you can gamble it. He's one for one, folks. You might as well gamble that, yeah? Yeah. But yeah, thank you for the 100 subs. That is nuts. I really appreciate it. This thing has been a lot of fun. I'm just learning as I go. But we'll make it entertaining. Maybe we'll do like a Sunday fun day. As lame as that sounds. But, you know, we'll go fishing, play some ball, uh, maybe go hunting one day. Give you guys a little bit more personal. What's up, dude? I am I'm cooking right now. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo! -hoo -hoo. Man! And in front of the camera. Woo! Woo Watch me go. I still got it. John, if you're watching, play me anytime, buddy. Ah, oh, I gotta gamble that. Watch me choke. Ah, oh, okay. Now with three. Ah, oh, I'm not gonna gamble it. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna risk it. Nah. If I miss next time, huh? You go back to start? Start, yeah. Woo! Y'all like that? Uh, one thing I want to talk about, too, um, is, like, I've gotten a lot of inspiration, obviously. I mean, you guys probably guess the kind of format I kind of went with, but I grew up watching raw lifters. You know, I used to lift a lot. I'll share a photo somewhere in here what I used to look like six years ago there's been some personal stuff that came up uh, sounds lazy but um, something came up and I just I just stopped uh, but um, some of the people that was a sweet shot um, some of the people I grew up watching was like physiques of greatness Chris Jones if you guys remember him and of course Rich Piana that's off. Um, the Hodge Twins were my favorite. I had to have been like a top 5% viewer for the Hodge Twins. And then, uh, of course, like Z's, you know, RIP, and then um, some other ones right off the top of my head. Uh, that's really about it. Mostly Hodge Twins, man. Those guys were awesome, dude. All about them games. Um, but I'm not, you know, obviously I'm getting a lot of inspiration from a bunch of creators. But I'm trying to make this thing my own. And uh, I love the raw format and the car talks and stuff. So um, we'll still do car talks, but I'm thinking about putting it on the outro. And 
you know, talking about the workout. I mean, I'll still yap about, you know, Tarkov and Broncos and food and stuff. But, uh, just I want to make it different, you know? And we'll, like, like I said, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll dedicate one day, maybe Sundays, we'll uh, do some fun stuff, you know? That's off again! I'm not... Ha, ah, let me risk it. Let me risk it. Risk it just because I have an audience. That's it. Oh, I airballed it! <laughs> Back from the start. But yeah, uh, appreciate all the love, man. Feedback, positive or negative, man. I really appreciate it. I'm curious to see where this thing's go. I never thought I'd get 100 subs so, so quickly. I don't know if it's the accent or what, but um, it's going awesome. Love to see where this thing goes. And then one day, you guys stay around, maybe we'll do a competition. And then, yeah, I don't know if it's going to, the climax will be higher than that, but we'll, we'll keep it entertaining. I'm talking in circles, but watch me smoke Cody real quick. We'll go all the way through without missing. Ah. Follow through, Justin. Gotta follow through better. I still got it. And my old homies from Eastern Kentucky watching. You remember, you remember the center, community center days. Oh, that's what I was gonna say. Talking about my favorite YouTubers. You know, it's so much easier now to make con I missed. Make content versus like 10 years ago when I was really, really into this. You know, we don't, we didn't have the wireless mics. I'm sure they did, but I couldn't afford them. You know, I was being a hood rat, 23 year old. Um, but I would, I would take videos and, you know, have fun in the gym. But I mean, to be honest, dude, I, I had like pretty slow internet. I grew up in Eastern Kentucky, the Appalachian Mountains. Like, being a content creator, it just, there wasn't many of them, you know, from that part of the country. Did you miss two? Do you want to gamble or no? But, uh, yeah, but hey, it's never too late to start, right? <laughs> oh, come on. I gambled at three. Let's see? Man, I still got it. We're going to have to join the men's league, Cody. Show these youngins how to ball. Show them the fundamentals. Ah, there we go. Still got the old high school free throw set up. That's off. Let me have that thing. Curious to hear what you guys think about my form. There we go. That net sounds sick, dude. Look at that. Ah, let me see it. Ah, it's off. No! Oh. But yeah, enough yapping. I just wanted to thank you guys and we're gonna have a little fun. I think one day we should uh, join a rec, like a men's league, and just record it. And I'll, I'll actually do some editing, make it like a highlight reel, if you will. You know what I'm saying? There you go, buddy. Well, all right, anyway, see you guys in the car. Go get some food. All right, I lied. I know you guys want some more screen time. So I got two shots for the win. I got to hit this corner and the baseline three, and it's over. And I just touched the rim. I have not done that since 190 pounds. So 230, I still got the hops, bro. I'll show you guys. It's for you non-believers. All right, let me hit this, and then one more. It's just dub. Oh, <laughs> last one, Cody. For the win, for the channel. Ah, ah. All right, rim time. Check this out. Risk it. All right, I'll risk it, and then we'll get out of here. All right, risk it. This is clutch. I got ice in my veins, everybody. There we go. Boom. All right, here. 
Watch this rim. You guys don't you guys don't believe me. You gotta call me fat. How many fat people can do this? Yeah! <laughs> Alright. I'll see you in the car. Woo! Big dub. Ice in my veins. Done, buddy. Woo! Y'all didn't think I could hoop. Y'all thought I was bluffing. Just wait till I trim up. Start running point guard on these youngins. Give them that fundamental Eastern Kentucky old school type basketball. <laughs> I can't believe I made that in front of y'all. That was sick. I was like, it was honestly just a few more attempts, and I was I had two shots left to win. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna record this. This will be fun. Um, <clears throat> and then uh, we just kept playing after that. Actually, even you know how I was complaining about my knee on the way in. <laughs> That last time I touched the rim, which, hey, I don't toot my horn a whole lot, but 230 pounds, six foot, 33 year olds, with zero plyometric training, still touching the rim. Say something. That's what's up. That's what's up. Um, <laughs> but uh, when I, that last time I touched the rim, my knee kind of got stiff a little bit. I didn't hurt it or anything. I was just like, well, I better not push it. You know what I mean? I was just, uh, you know, we talk about volume and junk volume, blah, blah, all that stuff. It's just like, oh, trying to get T-bone, brother. Um, just listen to your body, you know? But it was fun. I'm going to, I think that, um, I mean, it'd be a lot of editing work for me. But I say we join a, we, like you guys are joining with me. All of us are joining. No, I'll join a. A men's basketball league some older guys like myself or youngins it's okay and then uh, that'll be some really insane cardio I'll just have to be sure you know because I'll still bodybuild so I have to be sure to really eat so my diet is gonna be a little funky for a while because I don't want to burn too much you know what I mean I want to make sure I'm recovering well so it'll be an adjustment to like you know lose weight but not that much weight but yeah, man, even a couple times a week, that'd be fun. That's how, honestly, like those years ago when I got down to 190, that's how I lost all that weight because I was, I was balling twice a week. I think it was Tuesdays and Thursdays. Some of you guys I know are watching. Um, you guys remember those days. It was fun. Um, but uh, then I stopped. Man. I will, you know, I moved and then I moved again. And then just like, you know, life happened. And then I just, you know, I'm not trying to bring the mood down because that was fun. But, uh, yeah, I just, I quit, man. And I, I regret it. I regret it so much. You know, and then I, I don't know if it's obvious, but I don't have a script. You know, I don't even really watch, like, I don't even get on Twitter or none of this stuff. Like, I watch Twitch. So, like, Here's some like, you know, some hobbies of mine. I love, you know, watching XQC. I've been a, you know, I've been a juicer for a long time. But uh, I watch Twitch, but I don't like watch a whole lot of content. Sure, like I've watched Sam Sulik, and like back in the day, I used to watch, you know, the guys I mentioned like Hodge Twins, Physiques of Greatness, you know, Piana, Jay Cutler, like, oh, I forgot another one I used to really, really like was, uh, Cali Muscle, you know, Cali, Cali Green, watching him, but, uh, where am I going with this? Sometimes I just, sometimes I just yap, and I don't even know which direction I'm trying to go with it. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, the script. I don't really know what to talk about. I just know that, you know, my approach and I'm gonna hit it hard my diet you know all that stuff I love the feedback like you know someone was talking about pyramids someone was talking about three times a week someone recommended a three-day split like with uh, you know doing hitting every muscle group three days in a row taking a break I'm like yeah all that's awesome all that stuff that you know I don't really know about and I'm, and I'm learning as I go like I'm I'm 100% gonna bodybuild 100% you know, my, my progress is definitely going to be slower because I'm natural and, you know, but, and I'm not an advanced lifter, but I'm 100% going to get there. And I have that mindset where, you know, that's, that's like almost my number one priority. 
I mean, family first, you know, and then work. And then, well, I guess priority number three. But um, yeah, I'm a I'm not very trendy. I guess was the kind of spill I was going for. I get a lot of my news from uh, XQC, and uh, that's that which is <laughs> I don't know if you guys know who XQC is, but probably better news sources out there. Man. I, that guy cracks me up. I can't never. I still, after years of watching him, I still don't know what he says. But it's just funny, man. I'm glad he's doing the the no pixel, you know, the the GTA RP stuff. And I love the Gamba. I love the Gamba. I'll I'll hit some slots up. We they're actually where I'm at. There's a really big casino. There's a few casinos, but there's a really big one, and they have like concerts and stuff there. And I'll go. I'll wet the beak a little bit. I'll uh I'll throw some some parlays in on football. I actually had a really sick parlay that I thought was going to crush it. So I had a three-leg parlay, and it was championship winners. It was um, University of Kentucky basketball, because I'm a homer. But they're good this year. They're good. They're going to make a good run. The Philadelphia Eagles and then the Bulldogs. The jo Sorry, Philadelphia Eagles for NFL and then the Georgia Bulldogs for college football. But that, that, that got busted. When Alabama beat Georgia, that got busted. And the Eagles are playing like dog duty. But, oh, speaking of football, so I am a fantasy football fanatic. Maybe one day I'll get a community uh, fantasy football league going. Uh, see if we get some – I mean, ideally you don't want more than 16 teams. I'll figure something out. I'll figure something out. But I would love to chit-chat about fantasy football and stuff because I'm, like, really into it. I do two dynasty leagues and two redraft leagues. Um I've been doing, I just started Dynasty League last year, which if you don't know what Dynasty is, it's like a keeper. You draft your team and you keep the same team forever, um, which is fun. But I treated it like a redraft. I didn't draft very young my first time, and uh, my team is pretty bad. And then um, my other Dynasty League is a lot better, but I had some injuries. You know, I had Mark Andrews go out, and then Justin Herbert, he went out. But anyway, in one of my redraft leagues, I'm in the championship. And uh, the dude on his team, he had A-Chain and Lamar Jackson. Completely crushed me. Like, destroyed me. But getting second place still pays out. So I made money. But not as much money as I would have if I had won. So it is what it is. Fantasy football is a lot of fun. It's, it's so much fun. I miss the old days, though, where you get, you know, the, the bros together and you'd have a big board and and just hang out and become a big, you know, party almost, but, yeah, anyway, not really big in the NBA, I love, I love basketball, but Kentucky basketball is, is my go-to, and where I live, um, there's another really popular school here, um, and they play occasionally, but, so I get, I get some crap where I live, but that's okay. That is okay. One day, my Broncos and my Kentucky Wildcats and my Atlanta Braves, which Atlanta Braves were cooking last year. So I grew up, you know, watching Braves on TBS every day. If you, if some of you older guys remember that. They were on TBS every day. And I just loved watching them, man. And they were on fire last year. I actually watched them in Colorado. I went, not that I'm in Colorado, but I flew to Colorado and watched them play the Rockies. It's crushed like 14 to 6 or something. I thought for sure they was going to win the pennant this year. But anyway, one year all my teams would be good. I, I miss my Broncos being good. I hopped on the bandwagon when I was a kid, back when John Elway, Trell Davis, and, you know, Ed McCaffrey, those guys played. And, uh, I mean, we had some good years. We had Peyton Manning, you know, Jake the Snake Plumber. He was fun. I'm just talking about whatever, ain't I? I ain't even talking about working out, but I did abs. <laughs> I did abs. Uh, forearms and then cardio. I did some incline treadmill um, and then uh, played hoops. Man, I hope you guys enjoyed the hoops. We'll we'll, we'll keep the fun stuff coming. I, I think one day I want to take you guys fishing because I I don't do it as much, but I love fishing. Love to hunt. Never hunted where I live now. There's some there's some bad stuff in the woods here. I'd have to maybe go with the buddy. I think Cody hunts. Maybe I, maybe I'll go with Cody. I know he coyote hunts, but. Anyway, Happy New Year. I just yelled. Happy New Year. Um, and I said this the other day, I hope 2024 is awesome for all you guys. Thank, thank you again for 100 subs. That means, the, like, the world to me. You know, 
I, it, it doesn't matter where this thing goes, a hundred, a thousand, hundred thousand, wherever, man. I, I appreciate every single one of you guys for stopping by and, and hanging out the channel, uh, hanging out on the channel. Um, but yeah, happy new year. I hope 2024 brings a lot of gains and intensity and hydration and, and good diet, extreme cuts and bulks, whatever, whatever you guys, man, whatever you guys like to do. I just hope it's awesome. Uh, I genuinely mean that. Um, I'm gonna go home. Sorry, I I forgot it was New Year on the way there. The travel day had me all messed up, but uh, I know I talked about eating food, but uh, the burger place I want to go to is not open today. And you know, I, I got other priorities too. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got other stuff going on. It's New Year's. It's gonna be a fun night. But enough talking from me. Much love, and I will uh, see you guys tomorrow. We got chest. Uh, I'm gonna mix some things up too. Go mix some things up. Keep it fresh. And then the vlogs. Still gonna do the car talks. <coughs> but I think the intros. I got I got some ideas for the intros and stuff to be a little different. And we'll we'll have like a we'll have like a trailer and stuff. We'll, we'll uh, I just didn't have a lot of content to do a lot with. But anyway, we'll keep it raw and uncut. What am I talking about? Get it together. Anyway, happy new year. I'll see you guys tomorrow for chest. Peace out.